tonight. Maurice Aubrey, Mo, the project manager at Simply Green Energy. Pete Marisi, True Story Pete, the project manager for Renewable Energy at Mr. Brewer Plumbing, specializing in water conservation and its green division. Also in studio with Brenna Hartman, a fixy chick and founder of Healthy Homes of Rochester.com. So a pleasure to have you all three back in studio again tonight. Yeah, good evening, Brenna. Yes. And uh, it's nice to have Pete, Brenna back Brenna. in studio. I know she uh, took a hiatus last week, so a uh, pleasure to have you back here. Thank you so much. And uh, you're Missed a far, you far cry better than our, our last guest last weekend. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that. Jim Salmon did a good, good job pinch hitting sure for you. So, uh, I'm sorry I missed him. I would love to do a show with him. It's been a few years that, since that, we've been on the air together. I first met you when you first came up to do home repair several years ago. So. And I would have to break his chops a little bit. And don't worry, I did that for you. Back so. in the day, though... He, he was not into the screen thing like he is today, and I'm so proud of him for coming around the way he has and really digging his heels in and being interested and saving energy and saving the earth. And I'm I proud had, of Jim. I had fun at his expense because he really sat there quite quiet for some time. And no, There's no question about it. I'll tell you, you know, when we were talking about it off air a little bit, he was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> you know, his eyes were all, you know, wound right up, and he's really into it. And I've got to say that it's really nice to see that people are really looking forward to learning about these, you know, renewable energies and stuff. And uh, and it's it's a great it's great to have Jim um, be interested in that because he obviously he has such a good um, you know name in the in our community and and I think he can help the cause. So. And and Mo, before we uh, you know before we get into things because I know we do have a guest joining us as we do every Sunday night. The guest will be joining us in our second segment here. But of course, want to remind our listeners two 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 eleven eighty the number to call. We normally don't take questions in the first segment, but again, the reminder to call in tonight two 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 eleven eighty. Mo, what I always like to do for people who might be tuning in for the first time this week. Um, talk to me a little bit about Simply Green Energy, a website that we can give out, mysimplygreenenergy.com. But, uh, Mo, I always ask you, we're talking about things, you know, save money, save energy, save the earth, reducing your carbon footprint. These are all things right. we're talking about when that, we're talking that, about Simply Green Energy. That's correct, uh, Brendan. Yeah, we're the one-stop shop, uh, so, you know, store, basically, if you will, or a business uh, that, the re- you know, uh, specializes in the renewable energies. Everything from geothermal heating, cooling systems to wind and solar panels and things of this nature. So, um, and I, you know, I, I forget to mention it, but it is a minority-owned company, and uh, it's a great place to be. So, and I'm really excited about having uh, Mark Matthews on from Wind Tamer uh, later in our show, and uh, he's going to obviously bring a lot of new things to our attention as well. So, again, it's just about you know educating the listener. And, uh, you know, if there's any questions, there are no stupid questions, right? There are, right, exactly. <laughs> and Mark, of course, uh, Vice President uh, of Sales and Marketing for Wind Tamer. And, of course, we will be talking to him uh, coming up in our segment. segment. But, uh, Pete Marisi, you're kind of our web expert. Pete, uh, t- true story, Pete. Tell me about uh, MySimplyGreenEnergy.com and all the things that people can find there. Well, MySimplyGreenEnergy.com is our parent website where you can go and see many of the illustrations of the technologies that we talk about and at the top of the home page is a link that invites you to listen to this radio show and you can listen to our past shows the current show and each show hereafter and you simply go on to um, the, our YouTube channel called Simply Green Radio and you can listen to whatever shows you want and and I like it because you know you can rewind a section and listen to it over and over again and I caught myself doing that with last last week's show there was a couple of words I couldn't make out and I had to listen to it a couple of times but what's nice about it is now you can minimize your screen and you can continue on surfing and reading uh, the newspaper or whatever and as I said last week uh, even the deaf can now listen to Simply Green Radio. I found that fascinating. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Uh, if, if you're looking at the screen, it, it, it says Simply Green Radio. Immediate below it is a, a little icon that says CC or closed caption, and that opens up, and it, it gives you an opportunity to transcribe the audio. So as we're speaking on YouTube, the words are flashing across the screen. So if you can't listen to the show because you're deaf in real time, you can listen to the show afterwards on YouTube even if you're deaf. Excellent. And and that's a resource that uh, I don't think exists anywhere else. Let's bring in Miss Hartman, because I know that she always has a statistic or two for us. I don't want to stump you, but uh, <laughs> if you're ready, this is norm- normally the time where you like to throw out a stat or two for well, us. Well, no fancy numbers today, <laughs> but I did want to remind our listeners that uh, April, you know, is um, Earth Month. Okay. You know, back way back when it was Earth Day, you know, April 22nd's always been Earth Day. Well, now they've made April Earth Month. So now's the time for everybody to really 
um, tune in to what we're talking about here on this program, but also, like I always say, going green starts at home. You know, uh, it's time for spring cleaning. There's so much to look at just in your garage and under your coverts, a lot of chemicals, pesticides, and things like that that you can um, start to dispose of properly and replace with non-toxic chemicals. Um, and on the EPA's website, by the way, there are quite a few different tips that you can do with your kids during the month of April to get them involved on going green, so that's important too. Um, and there is a consumer warning out right now, and I know we're coming upon the season, so I did want to bring this to our listeners' attention. Um, the EPA has put out a warning for a product called Fast Ant Bait. Sounds good to me. I'd buy it, right? Fast, Fast Ant, Ant Bait. bait. Okay. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> but it apparently contains a chemical called Murex, and um, it's, it's uh, very poisonous to human beings and pets, um, and it can make you very sick. So they're recommending the consumers stay away from Fast Ant Bait. It's uh, sold by Fast Pest Control. And if you have bought any of that, you actually need to dispose of it at your uh, hazardous waste drop-off location. This isn't something you can even put in the trash. So I thought now, that might be uh, interesting for people to keep an eye out for anything like that. That's something that's probably what, if, if it's sold in your local supermarket, uh, the supermarket should do a good job of, of getting it off the shelves ahead of time if they know there's a problem with it? Well, as far as I know, there hasn't actually been a recall on it. Okay. Uh, the EPA has just issued a warning. Gotcha. That it is a an extremely toxic, poisonous chemical. Maybe we'll ask our chemical engineer coming on in yes. the next couple uh, segments here if he has any uh, information on that product. But uh, I'm really looking forward to interviewing Mr. Mark Matthews from The Wind Tamer. I was reading over his bio, and we're going to be asking him if anybody out there is interested. Uh, he actually has served as a lithium sulfur dioxide cell designer. Time out, time out, Hello. time out, time out. <laughs> Explain to me what that is. <laughs> no, we'll leave that up to him, right? All right but this, I'm right. reading through this guy's bio. All I'm right. like, okay, we've arrived. <laughs> He's on our show. <laughs> Absolutely. Long waited guest. <laughs> well, so, Pete's being awful quiet over well, there, Pete. You know, you any, any factoids over there, buddy? Uh, not this huh? week. Uh, I, I'm just fascinated by the whole concept of, of converting wind into energy. I mean, uh, we've used wind for thousands of years. We've used yeah, it to power our ships to, to 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 travel around the world. We've, I mean, I remember my mother drying her clothes with wind. You know, uh, uh, wind is a fascinating topic, yeah. and it's always there. And uh, harnessing the wind to simply spin a propeller of sorts to spin a generator that gives you electricity it's just a it's just a, a, an amazing thing that we can do uh you know uh, the term windmill uh i think we better use wind turbine because we have a, a well, turbine guy in the room yeah that's, so. <laughs> that's true pete but i'll tell you windmills were actually invented the turn of the century well, it's probably right. earlier than that i, I don't yeah. really know when but i know that uh, in, the, in the west in our country and All even right. you know around here before there was power uh, right. they would put these windmills up and they would pump water out of the wells. Right, they were actual and, mills. Yeah, actual wind mills. So, right. uh, but yes, harnessing the wind has been uh, something that man's tried to do for many, many years, and hopefully, uh, you know, Mark can shed some light on how wind tamer yeah. has uh, really tamed this. Yeah, wind, wind is as natural as sunlight, and and yeah. those are the things that we just take for granted, and now we're learning how to extract energy. Yeah. from them and and it's a it's a critical time for us energy wise sure and, and we well talk it about, doesn't help with the price of energy well, continuing to skyrocket the financial here. incentives not only that the government is giving you to to pay for some of this stuff but uh, the financial incentive that the costs of oil and those other things are skyrocketing i mean that's just bringing uh, energy to the forefront absolutely and you know we can't do anything without energy we'd be living in caves if we had no energy we need electricity we absolutely need it uh, we need heat in our homes. Uh, we need things to burn. We need those kinds of things. So um, it sets us apart from third world countries, that's without it. a doubt. You, you know, you've got that right. You've got that right. And you know, I mean, you you hear a lot about China and how they're coming up in the world. They're still building coal factories. To the I think it's what one a day or something like that. They're they're building coal coal burning plants, and we're trying to evolve out of that. And, you know, we've gone from the Industrial Revolution to the Information Revolution, and it looks like we're going into an energy revolution. That's right. And it's going to be the next industrial age for us 
I put that in air quotes. Right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, it's I, renewable it, renewable energy, it, Pete. That's what we're here. All, well, that's why we're right, all here tonight. Right. You know? Here's you know, a here's a really silly question because we we will cut away for a break here in, in a minute, and we will be joined with uh, Mark Matthews, uh, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Wind Tamer. Um, but um, you know, we're, we're talking about wind and how you know wind obviously has been around forever, and, right. and that's been a source. Um, you know, of energy. But now from somebody who's who's learned a little bit about uh, green energy over the last month or so from listening to this program, um, wind, I guess, is, you know, got to be one of the things that's been around the longest in terms right. of the energy that we're able to eat. Well, of course, there's the, the sun, sun, but, sun. but uh, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but I guess just, you know, from, from looking at this from a, from a blind eye, I mean, you know, I've, I've learned a lot, I guess, about geothermal, but uh, these are things that have been around for a long, long time. Absolutely. And hopefully they'll be around for much longer, because <laughs> without them, we'll all be in trouble. <laughs> all right, 222-1180, the number to call if you want to join in on the conversation. Again, that number, 222-1180. I'll throw it out to uh, the three of you here to, to, to round out our first segment here before we, bring in, uh, before we bring in Mark. I'll tell you, I'm getting a lot of requests right now and a lot of interest from contractors. Uh, it's amazing how little contractors know about renewable energy. And as we said in our early shows, this mm -hmm. is difficult material. The government's not a good teacher. Uh, it's hard information to find. Uh, there's loads and loads of acronyms and new terminology and new technology. And uh, there's no, no way for these contractors to learn it easily. So they're getting a lot of requests now for geothermal yeah. and solar and such. And, and they're just throwing their hands up in the air, and they don't know who to call. Well, Pete, you know, you, you bring up some good points there. Um, I, I Just Saturday I got a phone call from a friend of mine that is actually teaching a program. It's a new program over at MCC about renewable energies. And um, it's very exciting to see how this whole, as you said, it's a revolution. Mm -hmm. yep. Everybody wants to learn. Right. And we are on the cutting edge right now, and, I, you know, I'm very happy to be part of that. Mm -hmm. And so is, you know, obviously our um, Simply Green Energy company and hopefully we'll be able to bring all these things together Brenda. Yeah, if i can add to that that's an interesting point because um you know i've been in the stone coated steel roofing industry mm -hmm. um for quite a while and i have to be honest with you a lot of requests that we get mm -hmm. for metal roofing the second question right behind that is what do you have for solar options mm -hmm. so right. it's and, and mm -hmm. it's becoming more and more popular when you're mm -hmm. talking in the roofing industry there aren't a lot of contractors out there that are familiar with these things, and they really do go hand in hand. So it's important mm. that, I guess it's important that we're on the air teaching people about all this stuff. Well, that's it. And, you know, and what we're really finding out is it's 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 typical human behavior. People are, the co the contractors today, you know, they're afraid to, you know, think out of the box, do something different. And and that's really where the probably our biggest challenge is today is so is isn't so much the technology and what's available, but it's 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 the mere fact that the contractors are so used to doing things a certain way for so many years, mm -hmm. and it works that they're really afraid to step out of the box and say, "Hey, look at <laughs> I want to learn about this new technology, and we want to move forward with it." And but I I truly believe we're going to see a, a um, you know almost a paradigm shift in the near you know future. Well, the one, of the, one of the things I like to try, Mo, and, and, you know, if the interest is out there for the, the contracting world, I think we can pull together a lot of the experts that we've had on the show, bring them into one place on a given day, have a symposium where they can put their products on display, give them 20 to 30 minutes to put on a presentation, talk about the technology and their product and such, and then everyone walk around and touch it and see it and feel it and offer them lunch. And uh, I think lunch. there could be a... Yeah, he's always he's got to throw his right? lunch, Because <laughs> he's the real deal. <laughs> but but I, I think, uh, you know, that educational process would be a benefit to consumers, to contractors, to the vendors, to us, uh, and to everyone involved here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's something we ought to take a close look to. So I'm just going to put a call out if any contractor is interested in a symposium like that. Drop us a note uh, in the email uh, through yeah. simplygreenenergy.com. And uh, if there's enough interest, I'm sure people like our guests tonight and, and past guests and future guests, I'm sure they'd be more than willing to and happy to do so, uh, you know, because they have a vested interest in it as well. And uh, remember, there's deadlines on this stuff. The government isn't going to give you assistance mm -hmm. forever. So mm -hmm. now's the time to get smart about it and uh, take a hard look at it. Oh, I'm sorry, Brennan, go ahead. Just going to say that's a fantastic yeah. idea. 
there's a lot to learn out there. You know, it's another thing we 